What's going on, people? It's your boy, your favourite demon, a.k.a. YFD, and I'm back again with another video. Let me apologise, firstly, for the length of time that it's been since my last upload, but this stuff's way harder than it looks, and I'm still trying to come to terms with the stuff that I bought so that I can edit videos and get them a bit, a bit better quality for you lot. But either way, we're back again, and today we're going to be talking about none other than your boy, Ian Flannery. Now, for those of you who don't know who Ian Flannery is, you may know him by the name King Irish, a.k.a. Ian Flannery, a.k.a. Ian Hogan, a.k.a. The Extortionist, a.k.a. That's a lot of a.k.a.'s. He's also known by Nicola Tallent as the Tooth Fairy Self-Proclaimed Gangster. Now, I don't know who he is really. I've seen a few things of him online, but we're going to dig deep and deep dive and take a look at his stuff, and we're going to give him our honest opinion and some advice. Hopefully he sees this video so that if there is any good advice and is to be taken from it, he can fix up. Now enough said, let's get into the video. Listen, I mean, we're in Harrods on a Monday, Harvey Nichols on a Tuesday, and I like being here on a Wednesday for the simple reason is I fucking can. Hey. Money talk. I ain't gonna lie, I like it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the energy. But it's ignorance. It's ignorance at its finest. And for me, ignorance means the lack of. You, you don't know no better. So he sees what he thinks is the way he's supposed to act. So, so that's what he does. So we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, uh, we ain't gonna judge him based on that. But let's keep going. Let's look into it a bit more. Um, obviously, you've got over 350,000 views, and the channel at the time only had 2,000 subscribers. You had over 65,000 hours of watch time. So I don't know if you Did you see the smile? Did you see the smile? Because I saw the smile. And to me, narcissist. Let's keep looking. I mean, you've got to remember, I've never been on the internet before in my life till the day I met you. I always chose to, to stay away from that, you know? So let me get this straight, Mr. Flannery. Mr. King Irish, whatever you want to be called, you done the interview to stay away from the internet or to stay away from the limelight or whatever you're trying to say there. That don't make no sense. You go to a media journalist who makes videos for YouTube and God knows wherever else and you give him an interview talking all this grease, all this gang stuff, all this... Uh, Draw your own conclusion, but talking all that, that, that sexy stuff, and you've done that to get away from it. Light bulb's gone off, so there's a fire. And because I don't want to burn my hand, I put my hand in the fire. Makes sense, doesn't it? It ain't looking good at the minute, mate. But in relation to, to journalists and everyone writing about me and, and all the criteria in the paper, that's not new to me. Mm. My face was in the paper a long time before I met you, and the reason why I sat down and spoke to you was to try and keep that away from my life. I don't mind depressing my life because- Mate, you just said you're trying to stay away from it and now you're saying you don't mind depressing your life. Pick a side, man. Come on, bro. You know, you have to remember now, since all this has gone on, I'm probably one of the only people in the UK who gets paid for being talked bad about. Yeah. You get paid for being spoken bad about. Let me into the secret, because bro, I need to know. If, if I can get paid for them talking bad about me, I need in. And it seems like you've got the secret. Let me listen more, because you might, you might give up the secret. I, I need to know. Yeah. You know, so for every, every bad publicity or every time somebody goes on YouTube and types a bad comment about me, it goes into my children's bank account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so every time someone dishes you or says a bad or negative comment about you, that is definitely warranted from what I can see it just somehow magically translates into money and goes shum into your youth's bank account, into your children's bank account. Again, I need the secret, brother. King Irish, if you see this, give me the secret, bro. I, I need to know what it is. Well, I, I can't emphasize enough well, to, to talk bad about me, even if it's lies, even if I've never met you. If I beat up your sister or I robbed your brother, I probably don't even know who your sister is. I don't know who your brother is, but... But well, that's funny, because there's been some accusations, my brother talking about that you do beat up women and it is probably somebody's sister, somebody's definitely somebody's daughter, but there's been accusations. Uh, you need to answer for them. 
But say it. They have said it. They, they've already said it. It's already on... I can't remember his name. Is it All or Nothing? Either way, Decker and Kane Baker. I saw their podcast. And it's already on their podcast, my guy. You ain't answered that yet. We, we would like some answers. Well, I know I would anyway. Mm. Because you have to remember that 90 pence turns into 180 pence and then turns into 360 pence and then I go... Yes! He can count. He can do simple math. Depends, and then I got another kilo around my neck. You understand me? And I don't have to sell a kilo to buy that kilo. So 90 turns into 180, 180 turns into 360. And, and you said pence. And then that turns into a kilo around your neck. I'm so confused. I really am. I don't, are you lost? Are you lost, bro? I think you are. You have to be. This is not normal behaviour, people. Anybody watching this geezer... And we're only a quarter of the way in. Any, any young people watching this geezer, this is not the dude to follow. I'm telling you now, he is gone. So, I'm, I'm winning everywhere now. Aren't I? I don't think you're winning. In my humble opinion, respectfully, Ian Flannery, you like to be called, you are not winning, bro. Now, and thankfully, you know, I never thought that selling my story. I sold my story to try and to live a peaceful life. I didn't think it would end up giving me this inroad into living... I mean, as you can see. Again, we're back at it with the contradictions. There's, there, listen, mental health is real, my people. Mental health is real. He sold his story so that he could stay away from it all. What? Oh, you're blaming the story on giving you the inroad into living life a luxury. It's not, it's not crime. It's not robbing women, beating up women and doing all kind of fuckery that you're doing on the roadside. Is, you, don't, you don't put it to that? No? Okay. You I bet you've had every podcast getting in touch with you in England, don't you? I don't think he has. Or maybe he has. He probably has. He probably has had a few people because they know he's entertaining. They know people like to watch people fail. That, that's the thing on the internet. People like to watch people fall off. And this guy is heading off a cliff. I'm telling you now, he's, he's going somewhere... He's going, he's going to the gulag, to the place of no return, to the shadow realm. Trust me. Yeah. The only one that's been in touch with me, and he seems to be in touch for the right reasons, is James English. So I've contemplated going on James English. You um, haven't contemplated. You're a liar. I'm, tell, I'm calling you out, King Irish. You're a liar. You haven't contemplated. You've already, you already accepted to go on James English before he probably even offered you. That's probably on your checklist. Go on James English. Check. Let's not chat rubbish. You are a narcissist, from what I can see. You are a narcissist. You overfill yourself and overrate yourself, which self-love is a, is a real thing, and I believe in it, but, bro, you're taking it way too far. So, to me, you really wanted to go on James English before James English probably even reached out to you. Let's not lie. Um, will I? I don't know. You do know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You do know. And you're going on there, cuz. So don't lie. If James English has really reached out to you and is going to allow you on the platform to come and talk this nonsense and confuse the kids of our generation, you are definitely going on there because you, my friend, love the publicity from it. You love the notoriety from it. No, anybody else, probably not. Just on this one today because, as I said, I've done you a massive favour initially the first day. Mm. Oh... You done KRN a favour, did you? Or did KRN do you a favour? Because as he mentioned in the first one, you got hundreds of thousands of views or however much he said. I think it done you a favour. I think it done you a favour if I'm honest. And I think you love it. I think you like it. The way you're moving and acting, you like it, bro. I always say, you know, if I wasn't Ian Flannery, I would talk about Ian Flannery too. Do you? Really? Is it me or does that that just come across weird? Because to me that comes across weird. That really does. Talk about self-conceited. I mean, people are probably expecting me to jump on here today and talk bad about this and bad about that. My mouth is too expensive to have anybody's name in. Do you understand me? It's really not. It's gold teeth, my bro. If they're caps, you probably paid a few grand. If that, if they're caps, if they're, if they're pop-ins and pop-outs, you may have, you may for your whole mount, you probably paid no more than 
15, 1800 pound. If they're solid, you probably paid maybe, depending on what carrot the gold is, I'd say anywhere from about two to five grand. So it's, it's not that expensive, my guy, if I'm, if I'm completely honest with you. It's not that expensive, but let's carry on. So, I mean, and anyone that talks about me, realistically speaking, my mouth is probably brighter than the future. Okay, now we're getting into dickhead territory. This, who's gassed him up? Who gassed up the leprechaun? Who did it? I need to know who put the battery in this guy's back and told him to behave like this. Who told him behaving like a self-conceited prick was good? Because I'm confused. Do I enjoy being the bad man? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You like it. That's why you do it. That's the whole reason you go on camera and you behave like this, my guy. Yes, you do. I mean, I get well paid for it. Do you, though? Do you? Really? I don't know. You look like you might do. But I don't think it's from that. The money that the police took off me the last couple of months, I'd like to say, if they're, willing, if they're not willing to give it back to me, give it to charity. Give it, t pick a charity of your choice and give it to charity. Yeah, because it works like that. Uh, please take your criminal money and they're not going to give it to you, but you say give it to charity. Thumbs up. You are a, you are a wanker. I ain't going to lie. The longer I'm watching is the more I just know this guy's a dick. He's an absolute wanky mug. I can't even lie to you lot. Real talk, he is sad. Is. I don't ever talk about finances. A man that talks about finances is a man that probably hasn't got a lot. Indirectly and directly, you've spoken about finances. So do you not have a lot? I'm confused. You, you seem to be talking about money a lot. But again, let's keep watching. Absolutely. And so talk to me about uh, rappers asking to borrow your jewellery and stuff like this. <sighs> Listen to me. The jewellery's around my neck today. You know, that was the one that was on H. Yeah, the, fucking lovely. And this is the chain that was around Morrison's neck. I mean, these guys got millions and millions of followers on Instagram. Why are you wearing Ian Flannery's jewellery? I mean, I ain't got nothing against these people because they're doing good things. <sighs> Listen, I can't say they did or they didn't. <laughs> what I can say is from sources very close to Morrison. I don't think Morrison was wearing your jewellery, if I'm honest. That's for him to come out and say if he did or he didn't. I personally don't think so. From what I heard, he didn't. H, I don't know, he could have. For all we know, you, you could have just bought the jewellery from the store or borrowed it from the store to do this interview because a lot of your stuff seems seems staged. Even Decker in his interview said a lot of your stuff is staged. It's do this, do that. So how do we know that you ain't asking the jewellers, yo, do this, do that. Let me borrow this. Let me use this for a video. I'm going to shout you out or whatever you're going to do, some deal or sponsor you're going to do. And you're showing this jewelry, my guy. We don't know. But you got like seven. You Last time I checked, you had less than 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I don't, I don't think these people with half a million thousand, whatever it is, followers, is going to be wanting to use your jewelry. I don't, I don't know. And if they do, it's letting me know how sad the rap game is, bro. Real talk. But why don't, why don't you rap about bringing your mum for a coffee or bringing your kids to the back? Why are you always rapping about trapping this and band or that when you understand? Because that's what sells. That's what sells, my guy. You know that. That's why you're on the camera doing it yourself. It's entertaining. It sells, it's marketing, and they know what they're doing. They're confusing the youth. They're making the school kids think that it's cool. And the school kids buy into it. Yo, do what you got to do to get paid. I just think it's a little bit low. If I'm honest, even to Morrison and them, you're showing the youth them a way of life that is only going to end up in a bad way. A very, very small percentage, a minuscule small percentage could actually cut through doing the wrong thing to get the right thing. If that makes any sense, I don't know, but I'm trying to make sense. Got millions. What you have to remember is Hitler had millions of followers, okay? Jesus only had 12, and even one of them turned snitch. No way. This guy's going to religion, he's talking about Hitler. I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. This, this, my people, is what you don't want to be like. You need to watch this video to know this is what you don't want to be like. You do not want to be like Mr. Flannery here. I'm telling you, it does not end well. 
Believe me, believe me, believe me. Trust me, it don't end well. He's what you call a proper prick. You understand, if you want to look at what I'm doing on Instagram, you probably shouldn't because it's going to piss you off. Yep. You know, when you click on King Irish's Instagram, it's, it's going to make you heave. I don't think it's really going to make you heave. I clicked on it and you've only got about... Don't quote me, but I don't think he's got more than six pictures, if I'm honest. So I don't know what there is to make anybody heave, my guy, but it's kind of basic. It's just kind of, this day I got money, so I'll take a picture. It's Everybody knows Instagram's fake, and if you don't know, then you're lost. But Instagram is a place where people only show their best moments. So if you're looking at Instagram thinking, oh, I want my life to be like that, well, just take pictures of the best moments that you get and only post them. And that's what you'll have. You'll have the same as these other people, looking good. And that's like looking good on a, on a one birthday, a one day out. You buy a little outfit here and there and you post it. That's not every day. They don't, they're not rolling like this every day. Believe me, because I know enough men that are on the roadside getting real money and they don't, they can't keep up like that with the Instagram thing. But carry on. You understand? Because I'm doing the things that you'll never do. What are you doing? You're sitting down with KRN. Big shout out to KRN as well. Like the platform, love the movement. I see what he's doing and I rate it. But what are you doing? You're sitting down having an interview, my guy. It's not that hard. It's not, no, oh, I can't do that. It's just an interview, innit? You're just sitting down chatting was. That's what you're doing really, bro. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, you're making yourself look like a mug. Can't even lie to you. Who claims this guy? Who's claiming him? Because I know... Uh, Kane Baker and, and Decker and all them, they they dropped him out. They said, no, nope, not nothing to do with this guy. Because he's a wrong un. He's a scumbag wrong un, from what I can see. And whew, we ain't even gotten to the advice, the advice yet. We just, I'm just giving you my opinion on the clips that I'm going through. We'll wait till we get to the advice. It's like people talking about Ian Flannery. They do that because it works. People talk about you because it works. Mm. In a sense, I'm making a video about you because you, you're getting numbers. But you're only getting numbers because you're a clown. Everybody wants to go to the circus. So I'll give you that. I'll, I'll agree with that. I'll give you that. People probably talk about you because it works. But I don't think it's anything deeper than that. I don't think it's what you're trying to make it out to be. Like people talk about you because you're the guy. No, they just talk about you because you're a clown. A super clown. And trust me, I'll tell you this, the same energy to your face because hopefully you'll fix up. I mean, I know where I am today. I should hope you do. I should hope anybody watching this knows where they are today. <laughs> it's not hard to know I'm in my room, I'm in my house, I'm in my basement, wherever you are. You should, I hope you do know where you are. And so do they, but nobody else does. Listen, if any of you don't know where you are, then you need to phone 999 and ask for an ambulance immediately, because that is mad. If you can't look around and see where you are, then you need help. Real help. As you've seen, I mean, it was like a treasure map for you to get in here today. Yeah. The man said it's like a treasure map to get in his house. I don't think it is. It's just, it, 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 look, it looks like a high-rise block, building, tower, whatever you want to call it. And I'm pretty sure you just drive in and park and get in the lift and go up to whatever floor you're on. I don't, I don't really need a treasure map, my guy. Sounds good, though. It does sound good. But, um, so there are... Rumours still going around, your name's still popping around in the underworld. You see the smile again, as soon as the man says, your name's buzzing, your name's doing this, the smile comes. He's a narcissist, I'm telling you. He's a narcissist, he loves it when he hears someone saying something about himself, good or bad. Why? I haven't got a clue. Yeah, you what? do. It's because you do dumb videos like this. You do dumb interviews and act a clown on camera. What, in relation to me still being active? Yeah. I'm most certainly not. I don't think you are active either. I think that's the truth. I don't even think you've been active. I think you dibbled and dabbled. I don't think you was really knee deep in the streets. If I'm completely honest. No. I'm most certainly not. I mean, what, what is active? Active is being on the roadside and being involved heavily and participating in criminal activity. That's what I consider to be active. I mean, if I make a phone call and tell someone, give me a few quid that I'm hungry, would you, would you say that's active? I, mean, I wouldn't really say that's active. I'd say that's extortion. If they're giving it to you under fear or for whatever reason it is, I'd call it extortion. That's what I'd call it. 
What would you lot call it? It's active. I mean, if I call someone and say my son wants a new Gucci coat, is, is that active? Actually, it is active. If you're extorting people, you're active. So, again, make your mind up, mate. Are you active or are you not active? You're telling us, so we want to know. I call that a man in need. Yeah. You know, so... Again, no, I call it extortion, Mr Flannery. That's extortion. That's being active. You, you could look, he thinks he's slick. He's trying to say it in ways and paint a picture. We all know what it is. If you're, if you're a ringing man and telling man you need dough, that you're not paying back, so you're not borrowing it, you're not lending it, and you've got no intention of giving it back, it's extortion. And extortion means you're active. If you're extorting people on the roadside now, you're active, dickhead. But I don't think you're active. I think it's bullshit. Like my good mate, my best mate, Dougie Joyce, has got a great saying. Everybody's ready for a fight till somebody gets a box in the mouth. No. No, 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 no. And big shout out and respect to Dougie Joyce. But Dougie Joyce never said that. Mike Tyson said that. Mike Tyson. He's the one that said everybody's ready for a fight until they get punched in the face. And it all changes up. This guy's confused, man. He's giving other people's sayings and saying this. Other people's sayings. Uh, let's just keep going. So, anyone knows I've got a preference when it comes to women. So these white girls that are saying they've got kids for Irish. I don't eat unseasoned chicken, so you can just stay in your own lane. Wow, now you're saying white people don't know how to season food. I'll agree with you to a certain extent. But I'm half white and half black. And I can tell you now, the white member of my parent knows how to season food. And a lot, a lot of white people do. Maybe it may be a bit different compared to how a black person or a Caribbean, a Caribbean person does it or whatever culture you want to go to. But I'm pretty sure white people know how to season food. And you look, bro, you are white. So you grew up on white food. I don't know what you're going on about, brother. What a fucking melt. What a lemon. It most certainly is difficult to get in touch with me. But if I know you're coming for the good reasons, like you see me on Sunday, I give away 42 bunches of flowers to single mothers. If you did do that, if you did give away 42 bunches of flowers to single mothers, then salute. It's a nice gesture, it's a good thing to do. But I don't think you've done it from a good place. I think you've done it because you wanted the attention from it. I think you wanted to be able to say, yeah, I've done that. You didn't do it from the goodness of your heart. You've done it because there was something else to come in return for doing it. That's what I think. What the fuck was I thinking? Like, so I ring my florist in the morning, yeah? I normally speak to her on Mother's Day and fucking Valentine's Day if I'm involved with someone. And she said, oh, I shot at six. I said, no, not today. I said, tell me what the figure is. I said, I'm all over the country. I got two drivers on. There you go. More money talk. More, more I'm a boss talk. And if it's true, I respect it. Again, salute. But I don't think it is. He comes across as a fraud. I can't lie. He comes across as a real fraud and behaves like a lemon. And that day I interacted with social media. for the Mate. You love social media. Don't try it. Do not try to lie, cuz. You love social media. Media, for the simple reason is I put up, I said something, something like Ian Flannery would say, if your boyfriend is up in the club with his mate's Gucci belt on and you're at home feeding the pitney, just know there's a bunch of flowers here for you today. Know that somebody's thinking highly of you. Fuck me. Well, that's rich coming from you since the females on the All or Nothing podcast said that they bought you all your clothes. Are you referencing yourself? Because that's what they said about you. They said they bought you your clothes, you was bullying in them, and we'll get to that anyway after. But, bro, you sound like you're referencing yourself. I ain't going to lie. Re recently, I'm 29 years old and I made a will recently. Here we go. Here we go. And my solicitor said, oh, I made a joke. He said, why don't you leave your teeth, a toot, to every single friend you've got? If your solicitor said that, tell him from me he's a cunt, mate. He's a right mug for saying that. And if that's what your solicitor's saying, you need a new solicitor because they're not even the kind of jokes that man want to be hearing from my solicitor or my barrister. And I said, oh, that's a good idea, but I don't have 28 friends. I believe that. I don't think you do have 28 friends, my guy. Because I wouldn't be friends with somebody like you. You seem like a right mug. I, I, I keep saying it and there's nothing else to say, but this guy's a joke. This guy's an actual joke. And then he said, ha, 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 why don't you leave a toot to every single person that hates you to remind me of them every single day? I said, I've only got 28 teeth. So it sounds like something that you said. It sounds like you, you thought that little in your head and thought, yeah, that sounds cool. I'm going to say that. And you're trying to make it out like someone said it to you. I, I think it's, again, 
like Nick of the Talent said, I think it's all self, self-proclaimed. I think you're a legend in your own mind. That's what I think. And with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, I'm going to play the segment from Decker and Kane Baker's podcast. Forgive me, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's the All or Nothing. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to play the segment of the bit where the females are talking about, well, one of the females are talking about what you've done to her. And you lot draw up your own conclusion. And then I'll get back to you lot in a bit in a second after this is done. That's when you started to say, Carl's pulling up with random people. I'm an extortionist. I'm a drug dealer. I'm big on the roadside. He started speaking in Patois because I'm mixed with black. So I don't know if it's because he's got a fascination with black people or he wants to be black, but he started to really engulf on being black and speaking like in Patois to me telling me about bashment music, telling me he's got loads of black friends, trying to get in with my family, begging to meet my mom, begging to meet my nan and my family because they're Irish and he swears blind is red in Ireland on the gypsy side, he swears he's from one town. But after doing some research and digging of my own, he's a full on fraud. He's not from Tipperary, he's not from Limerick and he was bred up as a gypsy. There's nothing wrong with gypsies, but he denies it to the fullest. He's not an extortionist. He's not Flannery. His name's Ian Hogan. And there's a lot more to him. There's se- sexual aspects where he's forceful. He's a nonce. He goes for younger girls who crest nudes off them. He don't have money. He's on the dole. He doesn't have kids all over the city or the country. He's got two kids of which he can't see both of them because he's been abusive to both mothers. He's been abusive to women. If you was to be in a relationship with him like I was and use Claire's law, you'd be able to see all his charges for sexual offences, harassment, rape, yeah. violence against women, violence against his partner. He's had to play victim charges. He's been to court. He gets barred from cities, not because of an extortionist and he's bad. It's all because he hits women and abuses them. I've had fatal injuries from him, which included breaks to the hand, fingers, and, just... and out there, he whacked me with a bottle. That's enough. That's enough. If you if you if you want to hear the whole thing, like I said, go over to Kane Baker and uh, Decker. Just type them in on YouTube with King Irish, and it will come up, and you can hear the whole thing for yourself. It's quite long, but it's interesting to listen to. But go ahead and listen to it, and see what kind of scum this guy actually is. And like I said, he's nothing but scum. My advice is to give it up, drop the app, seek help because you have mental health problems. You want to be somebody that you're not and it's not cool. Everybody wants to be a bad boy until they're in a real bad boy position and they got to be a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Like 50 Cent says, I see gangsters get religious when they start bleeding and that's this kind of guy. This is the type of guy he is. He's not someone you'd want to be around. He's not someone you want to take advice from. And he's not someone you'd want to follow in any way, shape or form. King Irish, Ian Flannery, a.k.a. Ian Hogan, a.k.a. he is not an extortionist. And I don't think he could extort anybody. He is a scumbag and needs serious help. If you see this video, reach out to me and I will put you in contact with the same people that have helped me with my mental health. I'll get you some numbers that you can call because you really do need help, my brother. You are lost and you are on a downward spiral and you're going down the wrong road. And with that being said, the last bit, we're going to see how gangster he really is. But we have a video of him getting beaten up. Well, getting a dick. morning, late. No, you told me you wanted to go tonight. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I told you, yeah, that you, you called me, you said Irish, anywhere, anytime. I said, yeah, tonight, let's go. Now I've arrived. Yeah, you're telling me, no, 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 it's in the morning, mate. Listen, listen shut your mouth. Oh, you ca- I called you tonight. You told me... Boys, look, you put the phone down. Put the phone down, little late and ready. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And all this tough talk, all this, I'm extortionist, I'm gangster, I'm hard, and this, that, and the third, it was nowhere to be seen. You got a whack in the face, and you done nothing about it. And that'll be the end of the video, guys. Drop a like in the comments, 
drop a comment. I'll get back to you. I will reply. I'm different than these other people. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And it's your boy YFD, your favorite demon. And I'm signing out. Love, love, love every time, a hundred times. And again, when I get to my 10th subscriber, each 10 subscribers will be getting a free t-shirt and I have a clothing line dropping soon. But again, to all my people, thank you, thank you, and super thank you. Wait for the next video, which will hopefully be this week. Love people, it's your boy, and I'm out.